All praises unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweshai, by Hashem Rokal Kadash. Um, double honors unto the brothers and apostles of GMS because that's the camp that's bringing forth the true doctrine. I am basically new in this truth, I basically newly converted and um, I follow the GMS camp. So I've just recently accepted the fact that I'm a Hebrew Israelite and trying to the best of my ability to keep the law, statutes and commandments. And um, so being new in this truth, I'm basically learning trying to gain knowledge of this truth because you know I need to learn so um, I was introduced um, to this truth by a brother from GMS which he's been my friend for years since I first moved to the UK from Jamaica and I was going to college with him and um, I do not know anybody else that's in this truth not really, I don't really know anybody else, especially nobody else in GMS. So this brother, he posted a video um, pertaining to chariots. And this video really boosted my faith so much. Like, so much. Like, it, it really done something to my spirit. And I think the most I definitely um, used... Um, my brother this brother to bring forth this knowledge about the chariot to me because I randomly came across it and it boosted my faith so much I'm never gonna lie like tears actually came from my eyes watching this video like I actually cried but the most I was not finished with me there I had a vision that same night I went to bed and I've never had a vision before in my life and I knew it was a vision because I was dreaming but it felt so real it felt like I was there like it felt like I was actually there like when I woke up I was even surprised that I was sleeping and this vi this vision was basically pertaining to chariots and this vision was basically showing me what it what it may be like in the last days when um when Esau is ready to come down on on Israel on the children of Israel on the elect so basically in this vision I was in like a it felt like it was a school like a boarding school type thing because they had they had like dorms with rooms and there was a lot of people there in different rooms and like the people them that was there was either my age or younger than me and there was like it started it started off a bit okay but then it started to get a, a a very it started to get very chaotic like a lot of things was happening and um so basically it was like it was like there was like a group of people including me and the thing is everyone that was there i didn't know anybody so i didn't recognize anyone like from real life and no none of my family members none of my friends or people that i know in reality it was there it was everyone was just different faces and i could tell we we all had a common interest something in common so i guess we were all, all children of israel from the tribe of israel and um so it was like there was like a group of people including me we wanted to escape because there was like it felt like it was esau coming down on us and it was like that boarding school was where all Israel was but it's only there was only a certain group of people that wanted to get away everybody else was content everybody else was in their rooms not really bothered about what was going on you know what I mean and like so basically there was a group of us like we basically es we es basically escaped out of the school and we left a lot of people there and then we basically started running we just started running so we basically ran out of the school and we was running. We don't know where we was going. And there was like a group of people. And it was like me and a few others at the front. And then there was like other people at the back. And we were just running, 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 running. 
we didn't know where we were going and it was like the most high was just guiding us we were just running 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 and we were running and then it got to the point where no one was it didn't seem like anybody was chasing us we didn't see anyone behind us but we just kept running we were just kept running and running and then I remember it even got to one point we would we got like to like a cul-de-sac it was like the road ended and there was like house in front and I remember these houses got stairs and there was people in the houses like with a family I remember clear I can remember there was like a disabled guy in the house as well so obviously we knock on the door and then we asked we asked the people the family living there that if we can run if we can basically get access I remember I was running through the, uh, the last room of the house and there was a disabled guy there anyway so we we kept running and we moved, the more was running and the longer we was running the group of the group of us was getting less and less and less so that there were less people running 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 we just kept running 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 we didn't know where it was going but the most high was leading us they weren't it didn't look like there was anybody chasing us but we just kept running and to cut it short to summarize it basically we got like we got like to this place and like it was like an open field kind of like there wasn't any houses any roads or whatever it was just like an open space and when i looked back the the group was because i was like one of the people at the front with a few others and when i looked back the group was so little compared to what we started with when he was running and we looked up in the sky and then we saw so many we saw so many it looked like spaceships in the sky like so many like a lot of them and they was shining so bright and they was coming down and then everyone just started saying all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Barakata all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rokakadash basically singing praises unto the Most High and His Son we were just singing praises it was like we were rejoicing and happy because at that moment in time we knew that we were saved the thing was though like when we when we was running is like when we started running we knew why we were running but the more we kept running is like we didn't think about why we were running anymore there was no anybody chasing us at that point but we kept running and then when when we saw the chat when we, they basically they were the chariots they were the angels of the most high coming down on earth ready to destroy this whole place and we looked up and we were just singing praises in in, in hebrew who praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? Who praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? And remember, like, I'm new in this truth, like, and my my, my brother that's in GMS, he's been in this truth for years, like years, and I'm new in this truth, innit? And when I woke up, I was thinking, wow, like, so I messaged him straight away, and I and I sent him a voice note, and I told him exactly what happened in my dream, and he was like that is a vision you just had a vision and I was like wow and that vision alone boosted my faith so much more it was like when I saw the video he he showed me about the chariots that boosted my faith but when I when I had that dream like my faith boosted like so much more and the thing is like I watch a lot of um, GMS videos on YouTube and with their teaching and their prophesying about you know the the last days and the mark of the beast and all of these things and i don't really make videos i don't i have made any videos but this this one i had to make a video with this one because this experience has never happened to me before it felt so real and my my, my friend in gms he sent me a video uh sorry he sent me a precept he sent me joel 2 verse 28 you know he's a real friend you know because he's the only friend i have that's teaching me the truth you know he is what I call a friend and a brother he is the one that's showing me real love apart from all everybody else that I know in the world because he is actually trying to save my life he's trying to help me to get salvation it's up to me whether or not I I take the word so 
he sent me Joel 2 verse 28 and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and daughters shall prophesy and your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see visions so this is the the precept he sent me and um, I definitely saw a vision and he did say to me that when you're a newcomer and you're you're, you're sincere in the truth the most I will, will give you visions like and he said you will heighten so you will get basically get more and more um, and yeah that vision I had a few nights ago was I don't know how to explain it man it was like oh, the feeling man all I can say that was such a big faith booster for me because me being a, a newcomer like that is very important for my faith to be you know increased so yeah all I can say is um I am very grateful um to be in this truth I'm very grateful to be gaining all the knowledge that I'm getting still have a lot to learn but through the spirit and through Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai I will learn and I will try my best to keep the laws, statutes and commandments of the Most High and hopefully I am part of the elect and yeah so basically all I gotta say is um, basically this is basically the end of the video this is my first time ever doing a video so you know um, I'm just going with the flow <laughs> um, so all I'm going to say is at the moment this is the end of the video so all praises to Yahawa Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Raka Kadash double honors unto the brothers and apostles and elders of GMS because that's the camp that of teaching the truth the teaching the prophecies of the last days and um, I, from all other camps that I've listened to GMS is the one that sounds legit to me so um, yeah double honors onto GMS and um, Shalom